Good morning, my beautiful, 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 intelligent black brothers and sisters. I certainly hope that this day become one of the most successful days, one of the best days of your life right here on this plantation called America. Call America. I want to talk just for a few minutes regarding logic. L O G I C. Logic is a branch of philosophy. And within that subject, that topic, that process, that entity of logic, we can look at statements, statements that we make, statements that other folks make. We can look at arguments that we make arguments that other folks make. We can analyze those arguments. An argument will always have a premise and at least one conclusion. An argument will always have at least one premise and at least one conclusion. And within the logic environment, we can establish validity or or non-validity of arguments, statements, etc., Etc. Logic has been a very, very interesting, interesting area of study for me. <clears throat> and I will say this regarding evidence, regarding evidence. If you did not see it, with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then please do not create within that small mind of yours and absolutely do not share anything with that big mouth of yours. And I will say that again. If you did not see it with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then you should not create with your small mind and you should not share with your big mouth. You cannot and should not allow your minds, M-I-N-D apostrophe S-I, or your subconscious to take control and have you act on, draw conclusions based on such a circumstantial evidence, hearsay, C 
someone told you something that someone told to them. If you did not see it with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then please do not create with your small mind and do not share with your big mouth. I believe that pictures is can be a valid source of evidence. I believe that video and even audio can be valid sources of evidence. But even those things can be manipulated, can be changed to present whatever the evil evil doer, whatever the small-minded, empty vessel want to believe. What if situations, nine out of, out of ten of those what if situations will never happen, have never happened, and is not happening at the present time. One's mind, especially if that mind belongs to one that is insecure, one that does not have confidence in themselves, one that is lacking self-esteem, one that do not know who they are. They have not arrived at a place where they now know themselves and they have discovered their passions, their soul, instead of their ego. Make decisions that is relative to your soul rather than being relative to your ego. If you did not see it with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then please do not create with your small mind and do not share with your big mouth. At this point in my life, I make a valid effort every day and I am diligent regarding that to to keep stress and anxieties out of my life. I try to isolate and shield myself from those people that I interact with, people that I know, people that I have concluded that are filled with stress and anxiety themselves based on their own life experiences and their own thought process. One's thought process can be very, very negative. 
And if the thoughts are negative, then the words are going to be negative. Then the actions, the behavior, the visions are going to be negative. If you did not see it with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then please do not create with your small mind and do not share with your big mouth. Propagation of negativity, propagations of what if situations, propagations of insecurities, propagation of lack of confidence can drive one to projecting and inflicting all of the above onto folks that they interact with, folks that they are supposedly in a relationship with. Nevertheless, if that relationship includes acting on, believing in, drawing conclusions from, what if, suspicions, doubt, then it is not much of a relationship. It is an acquaintance that has a very thin, a very unstable foundation. And it does not take much of small-minded, empty vessel type conclusions, words, thoughts, and actions to break through and reveal that it was not a relationship at all. It was a fantasy. It was a convenience. Certainly not a relationship. If you did not see it with your own eyes, if you did not hear it with your own ears, then do not create with your small mind. And do not share with your big mouth. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrasherway.libsyn.com. There you will have access to all of the stuff that I do. Talk to you.